Hello YouTube. As you can see, we're in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 in 4K. Why are we here? Perhaps you've seen the video from Trevor Jacobs. He was the YouTuber slash pilot who was flying his tailorcraft over the mountains in California, and then the engine suddenly died. What does he do? Well, he doesn't do what a normal pilot would do, and that's to find a spot to land in, set for best glide, and just glide and have a safe landing. No, he just jumps out of his aircraft. It's okay, he had a parachute. He uh, jumped out at above 5,000 feet. And we know that because if you looked at his wrist on the way down, you would see the altimeter that parachute uh, jumpers wear. So there's plenty of reviews of that video and you can watch them if you want to, but the short story is that the whole thing was staged. You can see things just don't add up, such as his door being open just before the engine dies. Or after he jumps out of the plane, you'll see a fire extinguisher strapped to his leg. Who does that? So here we're in flight sim though, because I want to really answer the question, and that is, can we, could we actually land a plane at that location? So I've put in the GPS coordinates into flight sim. I believe I've set this up to start at about 6,500 feet or 6,000 feet, which is approximately where he began his, uh, his adventure from. Uh, definitely well above 5,000, um, just based on the altimeter and just the view of the whole landscape. So we're going to hit the uh, fly button here, and we're going to see if we can land it somewhere. Um, I've selected an aircraft, the Savage Cub, which has a similar performance to the Taylor Craft. Not exactly, but it's going to be a good approximation. The landing distance, I think, is about 500 feet, which is the same as a Taylor Craft. Uh, the glide ratio, I mean... Probably about the same as well. Crap. But uh, we'll see how we do here. So hit fly. I'm going to put my headset on so I can get the, the full experience. And maybe if I open my window, you'll see the headset flying off of my head too. So assume the position here with the pedals. And we're going to have to reset the time it looks like. So we'll start this up and then we'll pause it real quick. And we'll pause it and we'll set the time. There's some wacky uh, thing with the time where it always wants to switch between UTC and local. It doesn't, it can't make up its mind. So here we go. 10 a.m. November 24th, I believe it was. Okay, so here we are. And just for the heck of it, we'll also set the fuel to be, um, let's see here, we'll, Put that down to zero and we'll give this 0 0.53 so we'll get the full experience of having a engine quit randomly on us and we should be headed in the same direction that he was heading in so let's see how this goes and we'll set our throttle to cruise all right let's see here oh <laughs> there we go our engine just died all right, all right, so let's uh, turn our electrical off, turn everything off here. See if we can restart, mags on, restart. No, nothing, okay, so we're turning this stuff off, securing the engine, take a look around here. I don't know what's here. Uh, it doesn't look good there. How about this side here? Oh, okay, okay. So there's a river. It was like a small river down here. I don't know exactly what the elevation is, um, but we're above our landing spot. So I'm going to throw out the flaps and just uh, circle down. Let's see if we can find a uh, nice straight stretch of... Uh, of lake here. The problem now is that we're we're above it. So let's let's see here. Oh, there we go. I see it. Okay. So let's slow down and let's zoom out here. We're in flaps range. Let's put the flaps down. There we go. We're going to try and slip 
loosen altitude as best as we can. I don't know what the best glide speed is here. That's what I'm looking at right there. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of flat. So we're gonna go for that. That's not turn yet. So we could probably land right over here. Okay, this works too. Boy, I wish I could see down. There we go. Okay. Now, mind you, I've never flown this aircraft before. So this is, I'm just kind of eyeballing everything here. All right, I see what we're gonna do here. That's a, a tailwheel, so I'm gonna try and land on the mains. Uh, I guess, I, I don't, I don't know. Not bad. Look at that. Huh. So let's see, can we start this? Give it some power here. No, nothing. So that's it. Um, oh, let's hold those brakes. Uh, yeah, so I guess you actually could land in that area. So if you happen to be over mountainous terrain, you know, I guess, I guess the best you can do is always have a river or a road picked out. Um, yeah, so good luck.